think that because of the very niche stuff that we work with, so with the things that are very taboo, female genital mutilation, forced marriage, a lot of the people that are in this room wouldn't have heard of those things. So we kind of started working with the young people in 2017 as part of um, UK Parliament Week, which is a week that engages young people and everyone really in Parliament and politics and so we started working with young people to try and engage them on these issues and get them to know about their rights and different causes that they might not be familiar about. So I'm 20 and the only time I've ever heard from FGM is Waterloo Road, did an episode on it. Like, that's ridiculous. I didn't even so, know So exactly and if that, I hadn't watched that I wouldn't have any idea what it is so. No 100% like kids need educating because it gets to them in the brains like obviously when you as you get as you get older and as you age you know you're in your comfort zone you're not really open to change and open exactly. to yeah different like ideas and perspectives on things so it's easier to get it through the kids mind first to change the way they're thinking and things like that we launched our exhibition um, that we started um, in february as part of the international day of zero tolerance for fgm and that was launched in london uh, with the National FGM Centre. The young people wanted to make this bigger, be able to launch it in the northwest, and be able to add to the project that they'd already done and just to develop on it and make it better. So that's what we've been exhibiting today is just their work and they've been working on performances. Basically, the, um, we did photography. So we just went around our neighborhood wherever we wanted to go and tried to relate to FGM through the pictures. So our interpretations of the, ex the experience, things that happen, we just wanted to kind of show what we thought about it. Some of the pictures I guess are a bit abstract, I can't really tell what mine is, but it's meant to kind of show surgical gloves compared to like the vulnerability of the actual experience of FGM. So yes, yeah, just expressing our views.